blessings for you. A messenger who came to give the message to you. And every time she speak, it could be a lesson for you. Every time you in her presence, her essence, the truth. Definitely a cool breeze. Expect hey y'all, what's good? This your girl Brick the Empress. And yes, I'm back in the building. About to do a collective reading for my water signs. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And for some reason, Mars. I don't know why. I just heard of Mars. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you click on notifications. If you're interested in a personal reading, an oracle deck, um, a blessing to you kid, a healing kit, Sage Palo Santo, um, crystals, um, copper jewelry with the crystals, hit your girl up. And also, if you're interested in any of those things I, um, mentioned as far as products, I got an Etsy shop too, don't forget y'all. But, um, per my clients, I have started a new way of reading, so now what I do is I go into the past and see whichever energy I pick up on and what happened in the situation, and from there... I go into the present and the possible outcome energy so that people can know this is their story. Some people don't know it resonates for them because people are not aware of what's going on in the present moment because they're not, they may not be in uh, communication with a person. They might not be around a the person. There could be something going on. It could be some things hidden from you that you're not aware of. You know I mean? But we're going to see what's going on. We're going to see what's going on. All right. Okay, Spirit, we in the building. Let's get it, baby. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guys, I come to you with a humble servant, praying for clarity, praying for God as a protection for me and my entire collective. Anything that does not mean me any good or anybody that wishes me any harm, return the center tenfold. Let's get started, y'all. Eh, you saying he got my table set up today. I'm just chilling. Earlier I did, but now I'm just chilling. All right. Lord, I got the red hair on my sweater. I love this sweater, y'all. Y'all gonna always see me in this sweater. I don't know why I just love this sweater. Ah, <sighs> water signs, the eight of swords to the knight of swords. Somebody's trapped in fear and possibly made an um, impulsive decision. Somebody made a dumb choice or a decision in the past. Yeah, and they were all for a brand new opportunity of love. This is you. You could have, um, they could have rushed right in. This is them, you possibly with the Ace of Cups, say the Eight of Cups, that's your energy. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, the Chariot to the Seven of Swords, you hauled ass on somebody, you snuck away. Or you, mm, hold on. Give me one more second. I got to finish that up right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, this could have been you. This could have been a um, person you connected with. Somebody was trapped with some type of mental imprisonment. Or this could have been somebody that was locked up, but take it as it resonates. Uh, whatever happened in this situation, somebody was overthinking and trapped in something going on within their mind. And they made a stupid decision. There was a new opportunity of love you could have offered this person, and they decided to walk away. Or this is you. You could have did something very dumb and decided to take on a new opportunity. And with the the ace to the eight of cups, that's the nine of cups. But with that cherry and you could have been dealing with this could be you cancel. You could have been rushing for it and sneaking off to uh, somebody else. You could have avoided this person. All right, eight of swords and a knight of swords. Eight, yeah, eight of swords and a knight of swords. From a queen of swords. What is this going on? Queen of Swords. And, mm, you could have. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. So somebody came in and could have offered you a, a opportunity to try and heal a situation. Somebody said something with their Queen of Swords energy. There was some blunt, honest communication. 
Somebody could have cut you off, or you could have cut this person off. Mm. I just heard somebody saw straight through the bullshit, whatever this office was, and decided to take their energy back. <laughs> somebody saw through this bullshit. With the eight, why the why did this happen? Five of cups. Hmm. Hmm. Five of cups in the center cups. Somebody's regretting a decision that they made in a relationship. It's matter they got kids. Man. Somebody saw straight through the bullshit or whatever the situation is. And they took their energy back from this person. There was too much disappointments in this relationship or what happened with this person. So when this person came in, whether it was you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or whether it was this person was that came in with this brand new opportunity, somebody walked away. Somebody moved forward really quickly. And they weren't being honest about this. Was this was somebody being very meticulous and planning? This yeah, somebody is like, no, I'm good. This is what happened in the past. Yeah, somebody, somebody received some victory. Somebody gained victory in the situation by uh, bringing the uh, bringing some type of situation to an end. Somebody could have ghosted this person. <laughs> you got the Queen of Swords right here, and the King of Swords. Yeah, somebody could have got a victory to whatever the situation was by ghosting this king of swords. <laughs> so you and this person is coming out of this matching suit. Y'all very cold. Five of Cups energy. That's a matter of crying over sport milk. That's also that regret energy. It's a matter of regret, whatever this is. Yo, let's let's get into this because I ain't gonna tell y'all what else I heard. Everything ain't meant, meant to be revealed, but I just see that 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 was cold, that was cold blooded. All right, let's see what's going on. That was cold blooded. Sad track delays, distractions, and change in spiritual to awakening. So somebody might be uh trying to delay an awakening. <laughs> you got a rejection. Somebody rejected somebody. There was some rejection going on because somebody was still in their pride and ego arrogant somebody got rejected because they was arrogant or you rejected this person because they're arrogant that is now what is going on they feel like the grass is green in another situation or you do too grass is green in the faded media they're rejecting somebody there's a lot of rejection and ego going on with whoever this person is they feel like the grass is greener in another direction with this faded meeting this is somebody that's dealing with anxiety and worry Due to them being magnetically attracted to someone that is single. This is somebody very beautiful and stable. Single, loving. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Somebody might have a fear of being uh, rejected too. But I really see with the six of wands and the ten of swords. Somebody got a lot of victory in the situation. Somebody, whatever it was. It could have been a false sense of victory, but it was still a victory. Due to some, mm -hmm. look, as soon as I said that, there's something unexpected that's about to happen. It has something to do with a third party energy or a third party connection that they will have in harmony and fulfillment with. The music card represents harmony and fulfillment. Yeah, somebody might want a relationship now. Hmm. This is somebody that want to roll the dice. Uh huh. Yeah, this person wants a relationship, and they they rolling the dice. They ready to take a chance with this situation to actually speak the truth. Mm. So what is going on? Mm -mm 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 -mm. What is going on for my water signs? Oh, there is a major change or a transformation that's taking place. Okay, this soulmate. Okay, yeah, they're starting to have an awakening. This is a major change. This card represents transformation because, as you see, it's a butterfly up there. So, you know, uh, butterflies go through a certain type of metam <clears throat> metamorphosis. So, whoever this is, this soulmate, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, whether this is you or the person you're connected with, they're starting to awaken to how they really feel about this connection. Yeah, this is somebody they might want to date or possibly want to meet up with. Yeah. Somebody's going to express their feelings or their emotions. Oh, this is what they want to do. Yeah, but everything that happened happens in divine time. Somebody's going through an awakening. They're going through some type of change. 
And this change has something to do with the third party situation. Somebody's feeling rejected right now and they're full of pride and ego. And whoever this person is, they know the grass is greener and they feel like they're destined to go in that direction. But this is a person that's scared to fucking death. They're having a lot of anxiety. Harmony came out again. Yeah, this is somebody they have peace with. This is somebody they find balance with. A proposal wanted to come out too, by the way. I'm going to let y'all know this now. Yep. There's still some illusions going on, though. This is the current energy water signs. There's still some illusions. Look. Transformation. As soon as I said that, there are some illusions going on. Whoever this person is, they feel like someday they're going to meet up with you again. But right now, they're trapped. And all they can do is just look at you on social media. This whatever is going on, there are some illusions going on. <laughs> this person might be, it might be a fantasy. I don't know. But this feel like this person feel like one day they're gonna be able to reconnect with you. But in the current energy, they're trapped. They're tied down. They might, like I said, this might be something that's locked up. Yeah, and all they can do is look at you on social media. They're heartbroken. This person is heartbroken and they want to travel towards you. Yeah, there's still some hit and mysteries going on. Yeah, this person is heartbroken. This person might be coming forward to talk to you about the situation if they're not locked up. And there's still some mysteries that are about to be unveiled. This person, you got mysteries and then you got unexpected message unveiling. So yeah, this person is about to tell you the truth. Hmm. All right, spirit. Anything else in my water sign collecting? Uh huh. Fantasy, dreams, fairy tale, imagination, <laughs> intuition, and ignorant telepathy. Oh shit! Let's see what else. Go more for back collect the spirit fuck up. spiritual awakening. Fear. Okay. Listen. Somebody is fantasizing about you. Somebody is fantasizing about you. This might be somebody. Um, you have a telepathic communi uh, uh telepathic communication with, or somebody that uh, you intuitively know. You have a connection with whoever this person is. They're going through some type of spiritual awakening right now, and there's a lot of fear going on. This person is scared to fucking death. All right, spirit. Let's end this out. So, what is the possible future outcome for this situation for my water signs? This spiritual awakening is driving this person crazy. I just heard somebody hand in jail too. You got the fifth chakra archangel. Somebody gonna speak their truth. Throat chakra. Somebody's about to come forward towards you and speak their truth. Somebody's about to speak their truth, y'all. And it ain't in reverse, so somebody's throat chakra is no longer closed. You hear me? What else is going on for my collective, for my Cancer Pisces Scorpio? Door to value. Somebody's going to speak their truth. There's a brand new opportunity coming in about some victory and success, I'm trying to tell you. Somebody's going to come in and speak their type of truth. It's a brand new opportunity of abundance coming into your life, water signs. There's going to be victory. You're going to have to, you might be uh, traveling or you might be journeying and moving to another location. You spoke something into existence, which is going to bring you a windfall of abundance and victory. Yeah, you're going to turn, yeah, you're about to relocate or you're going to move to your, towards your destiny or your happiness. The sun represents a new, um, and it's the, it represents a new beginning, but it's a new happy beginning. Yeah, this is what you're planning. You are going to relocate or you're moving or you're going to do some type of traveling towards something that makes you happy. This is what you're planning. Or this is what you should be focused on. Or this might be what this person is focused on. There's still some anxiety and worry going on about this situation, though. Why? Why? In it? But yeah, somebody has anxiety and worry that they're still attached to. Yeah, there is something that creates a lot of anxiousness in you. Yeah, this is something that you need to listen to your intuition about with that sixth chakra, that third eye chakra. Listen to your inner knowing about this contract. This is just a contract. Listen to yourself about this inner knowing 
about this brand new beginning, you got strategy and you got contract. You need to listen to yourself about whatever this is and appreciate what's going on around you. Don't be scared that this, this anxiety and this fear is just an attachment. Let go of the attachment. Know that everything that is happening is coming towards you. You're manifesting a brand new beginning of victory and success. You are moving forward towards your happiness. This is your plan. This is what you need to be focusing on. That fear that wherever you got, that's just an attachment. You know why the attachment is your fear to, uh, your attachment to an expectation of how long something should be. Let go of that expectation of how long something should be and start listening to your higher self about whatever this contract is, this brand new beginning, which I really feel like is a relationship. And, and show and really show appreciation. Cause it's coming. There's a brand new beginning coming for you. I really feel like a lot of this is somebody that might be scared to open up to you too. But this is not nothing bad. This is just you paying attention to the signs of the synchronicities. And you moving on. This is the energy that I'm feeling. Honestly, that you're moving on, that you realize that you want it more for yourself and whatever the situation is, that you no longer want it to be a third party. And I feel like this person is starting to realize that they are in love with you. And I feel like that's just due to the fact that you know your worth. I like that energy. But all right, y'all. See y'all later. Bye-bye.